Ghana's idea to develop a modern city named Wakanda is gaining momentum. If I'm not wrong, which I hope I'm not most of us heard Wakanda, and nothing else from the tilt. Just that word Wakanda takes us to the blockbuster movie acted by Chadwick Bosman, but it took me a while to see exactly what the Wakanda city of return truly means for the people of Ghana. It's not just a city like any other, it's a dream come true for the our brothers in the diaspora to own homes of their own on their homeland, to encourage them to invest and help their continent grow. I know some of us can't believe it so those of us who believe that the fictional nation of Wakanda is a fantasy that will never come to pass in real life. Wait until you see that this is about to change for the first time in history thanks to the inauguration of the Wakanda City of Return initiative in Ghana. The Wakanda City of Return project in Ghana has been officially unveiled, and it is meant to be a lasting legacy of the Ghana government's year of return celebrations. And it is in addition to the return tourist initiatives, City of Cape Coast officials have signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the African Diaspora Development Institute, ADI, as well as with local businesses, to pave the way for the development of an ultra-modern smart city to be known as the Wakanda City of Return. The project is expected to create about 5,000 direct and indirect jobs and open opportunities in Africa and beyond to boost tourism development. Welcome to Think Rich Africa, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business and personal development content to inform, motivate and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship, rather than global pity, is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed, yet you are missing out. The multi-billion dollar projects, participants hope to create a place of pilgrimage for individuals of African origin, as well as other tourists who want to learn about the history, culture, and civilization of Africa, as well as the continent's role in the development of the new world order. Thousands of people from all over the world are anticipated to go to Ghana to see the ultra-modern structure based after the architecture of Kansas City which was featured in the popular Black Panther film. Also planned is for it to serve as a center for teaching about the history of the black race. The city's construction is in keeping with the numerous tourist attractions in the surrounding area, which draw a large number of visitors from across the world. In Ghana's central region, the city of Cape Coast is widely regarded as the country's tourism hub and a mecca for African descent in the diaspora. Every year, Thousands of black people from all over the world travel to Cape Coast and other historic slave sites to learn about the transatlantic slave trade and its consequences. The region was a hotspot of the slave trade, which resulted in millions of Africans being uprooted and transported to the New World. The coastal region is home to a variety of castles and prisons that were once used to hold enslaved men and women for days before being transported to the Americas to labor on various plantation operations. The building of five-star hotels, a heritage promenade, retreat and conference facilities, as well as the continental corporate headquarters of the African Diaspora Development Institute, are expected to transform the coasts of Cape Coast in the near future. At the Jamboree, Her Excellency Ambassador Aragon, Coco, the former African Union representative to the United States and the president of the African Diaspora Development Institute, praised the Honorable Ernest Arthur, the mayor of Cape Coast, for his commitment to seeing that this project comes to fruition and for ensuring that it is successful. During the meeting, she expressed her willingness to mobilize finances in order for the construction to begin as soon as possible. The African Diaspora Development Institute was established to serve as a link between Africans living abroad and their home countries on the African continent. The Ghanaian government brought about this year of return to make Ghana a popular tourist destination for African Americans and other members of the African diaspora, resurrect the 400-year-old vanished history and encourage investment in Ghana and to strengthen ties with African Americans and other members of the diaspora.
80% of the slaves that left Africa for the Americas were drawn into Ghana and then transported. The city is a therapeutic journey for African children to return home. It is a place where African children, descendants of former slaves, can complete their journey back to their motherland. Africa has been repressed for more than 400 years, yet its culture and history has to be rebuilt in honor of our dear continent. To make our continent what it is today, loved ones' lives were sacrificed. Cape Coast Castle is one of about 40 slave castles, or large commercial forts, built by European traders on the Gold Coast of West Africa. Though we call them castles, they are dungeons to Africans. So, in order to heal from past traumas, we must modify our tale and turn lemons into lemonade by rebuilding those dungeons and creating new, better memories in order to complete the healing trip. Consider everything that has been done to oppress Africans and people of African descent over the world. Even though they have been successful for more than 400 years, we will have reached the end of the road when descendants of the formerly enslaved can find a home, living at the exact location where their ancestors last stepped foot on African soil, when descendants of the formerly enslaved can stand up and stare across the Atlantic and tell them once more that we have returned and are on our way to find our forefathers, reminding them that this task could have taken us decades to complete. Finally, we can declare that the task is finished. The Wakanda city of return in Cape Coast, beginning with the exact location where our ancestors were stolen from our beloved continent and brought to this country. We couldn't have picked a better or more appropriate setting to kick off and establish the Festwachen in the city of return. This is a goal that should have been accomplished a long time ago, and we are grateful to Cape Coast's mayor. This is a long overdue aim, and we are grateful to the mayor of Cape Coast for enabling and accepting us to come in and participate and partner with the city as well as the country of Ghana to achieve this goal. Recognizing African orphans and providing them with a home, particularly in Ghana, has long been a dream of mine. As a result, it had been long overdue. It was, however, a fantasy for him that is now becoming a reality. I am ecstatic and honored to be able to invite you all to the presentation that will showcase what we refer to as phase one of Wakanda's development. This is a city that must be built by African children for African children, and it must be done by them. We are not going to beg for money all over the world. We implore you to acknowledge that you are seeing the start of a new chapter in the history of the African continent. We are not in need of aid. When we come together, we are extremely well liked by the rest of the group. This city is demanding that we, as black people around the world, respond to this call with a unified voice. Africa's youngsters are the only ones who can restore the continent to its former glory, so we must come together and remind the world of this. Only Africa's children have the ability to restore Africa's former status as the world's center of gravity. Africa's youth are the only ones who are included. I wanted to travel back to Africa, where we had started our journey. We built the houses we resided in, and we also owned the brickyard. We saw the clothing we would make and owned the textile mill we established while flying aboard planes. We built the planes and owned the airport while flying in planes. We completed the level line and are currently at the driveway where the trains were driven. I'm referring to an Africa that has entire control over an economy that has yet to be founded, an Africa that has complete control over an economy that has yet to be established, an Africa that demands the restoration of regular colonization, as well as the fulfillment of the wishes of our pan-African fathers, who began their work in 1963. This morning, my brothers and sisters, we begin the process of transferring a new list of priorities to a greener city of return in order to construct the Africa that we desire and to build a sustainable Africa for us by us. It couldn't have arrived at a better moment. Please allow me and my colleagues to express our gratitude to President Anato for providing us with this opportunity to continue the process of healing and repatriation of our children 
who have been lost in the wilderness for far too long. Let's build a better Africa and Africa we will be proud of. We all have a home in Africa as Africans which is only logical. Wakanda City of Return is the opportunity given by the Ghanaian government to every Ghanaian all over the world to get a home in Ghana. It is touching that they get the chance to transform the last places their ancestors saw back home before being taken into slavery. They are rewriting history and making it better. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Share our video with friends and family. Give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to our community for more enriching information. Help our channel grow. Thank you.